Flipper High friends, Darth Momo here to talk about Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3, Episodes 1 through 3. Pretty good! Um, not amazing. I would still say Season 1 had the best opener so far, but good enough. Um, I understand why they aired all three episodes together, and I'm kind of glad they did, because if it was just that first episode alone, I would have been pretty disappointed. Um, so the first one is all about Omega and Crosshair, just their new prison life, settling in, adapting to that. Um, Omega's looking to escape, Crosshair's just defeated. Um, not much more to it than that, other than just establishing a lot of what's going on at Mount Tantus with the cloning. Um, the second episode was all about um, Hunter and Wrecker. They're looking for intel on Omega, and they find an old abandoned base from Dr. Hemlock that also has a couple old clone cadets um, roaming around that survived and escaped. And I think this means we're probably going to get Boba Fett at some point throughout the show, just because the last time they had clone cadets in Season 1, they had D. Bradley Baker voice them. But then this time around, they have Daniel Logan voicing them. So to me, it's pretty obvious that you're not just going to bring Daniel Logan in for that when you had D. Baker do it last time. I think that they're going to have Boba Fett come in eventually, especially because we already know Cad Bane and uh, Fennec Shand will be back. Um, the third episode is pretty much the climax of everything. Um, Omega and Crosshair escape Mount Tantus. While Palpatine arrives to talk to Hemlock, um, it's pretty obvious the cloning stuff is obviously for Palpatine, trying to tie in the Rise of Skywalker. Joy! Um, but uh, it, it was awesome to hear Ian McDiarmid again. And then, yeah, C Omega and Crosshair barely escape. And the episode ends, just like that. I, I was kind of like, come on. Like, I was expecting them to have a quick, like, reunion with Hunter and um wrecker but i'm sure that will happen probably in the next couple episodes or so um i'd be surprised if it didn't happen next one but we'll see what story they've got set up um pretty much they confirmed what a lot of people suspected earlier on is that omega is force sensitive um they're working on obviously trying to test uh they say m count midi chlorians um because they're trying to see if they can successfully clone palpatine whenever that need arises um Oh, I would say it was a solid opener. Like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I'm pleased with the season so far, but I'm I'm excited for the rest. Um, there was a moment in the, uh, I think it was the second one. Well, yeah, it would have had to have been the second one. I think it was at the end when Hunter and Wrecker said to the kids, they're like, because they're going to take the kids to Pabu, the, the clone kids. And they're like, well, what about you? What's your purpose? And he's like, our mission's not over yet. And just the way they were looking, the way the music sounded, the shot, I don't know. I, I think they're all going to die. Uh, not Omega, but I think the other four are going to die. They've already clearly killed off Tech, and I hope Tech stays dead. I think he will stay dead. And I think they're going to kill the rest off at the, the end. But um, I don't know what to expect for the next couple episodes. Um, I was partially suspecting crosshair would escape and omega would not obviously that's not what ended up happening but we'll see um i don't know because there's shots in the trailer that has crosshair with the bad batch but i don't remember seeing any with omega and the bad batch so i wonder if maybe they don't reunite with the bad batch right away and maybe um the uh because there's a line from rex in the trailer that says the empire has the kid so I don't know, maybe they won't reunite right away. Maybe it'll be uh, Crosshair and Omega have to continue to work together to escape the Empire. I think that'd be really interesting. Um, but three down, and we got 12 more to go. I don't know. I think there's going to be a, a secret episode because the last two seasons had 16 episodes. This one had 15, but this finale is on May 1st. I think they're going to do a surprise episode on May 4th. But... Mm, I could easily see it just ending on May 1st. Why would you not end that on May 4th? They ended the Clone Wars on May 4th, so we'll see. Um, other than that, I like I said, I think they were solid episodes. Not amazing, not outstanding, but not bad. Not bad at all. Solid opening, solid episodes. I enjoyed them. 
and I look forward to enjoying next week's episode. Thank you guys for joining in. Darth Momo out, and may the Force be with you. Always. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them in the light.